everybody. Welcome to my very first makeup tutorial. I am a little bit nervous about this, I'm not gonna lie. Makeup is a whole different ball game than just talking about hair and hair products. So I hope that this is beneficial to you and I hope that this is something that you can learn from and that you can go through the learning process with me as I attempt to teach you this because I love you and I love to teach and I wanna show you all the things that I have learned and picked up from over the years. Okay, first things first though, for my very first video, I wanna teach you my basics. I have a basic makeup 101 look that I do for my face pretty much every single time. It's a foundation, concealer, bronze tour, highlight, and blush. It's kind of the base, the foundation, of every look. So regardless of what I'm doing for an eye look or a lipstick or the overall look that I'm going for, I generally do these exact same steps to get my canvas <laughs> flawless or appearing that way and enhancing all the things. So let's go into it. If you wanna see how to get this canvas, this basic Makeup 101 canvas, then keep watching. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we wanna start with a clean, fresh, appearing flawless <laughs> canvas. So we're gonna put on a foundation, even if you have amazing skin. Sometimes our skin needs just a little bit of help to enhance what's naturally there and possibly hide some things that are appearing with age. Foundation can be great for this. There are a few different options you can go with foundation. If I'm going for a no makeup makeup look, meaning I wanna look as though I have no makeup on, but I need some makeup to appear that way, I usually go with a powder foundation. My personal favorite is the Bare Minerals powder, just the original powder foundation. And I apply this with a kabuki brush with just a brush and powder and it gives me that no makeup makeup look. If I'm going like full glam and I want an actual foundation, then I, my favorite is Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and I can apply this two different ways. You can use a foundation brush or one of my personal favorites is a damp beauty sponge to put on this kind of liquid foundation. There are cream foundations that you can use or if you're doing photography or a video, usually for my videos, I will actually use Wet n Wild Photo Focus and I apply that with a damp sponge as well. This gives great coverage, it has no SPF so you won't get that white flashback. It, it's a little heavier and it's a little cakier, but for the purpose of doing photography or videos, I don't mind that because it's not something I'm gonna wear all day. But the one I'm gonna show you today is the one that I use if I'm going like 90% of the time. This is my go-to foundation to start with any look and it is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I adore this because it gives amazing coverage, but it doesn't feel or look heavy or cakey or like a lot of makeup. You can still see some of my flaws through it, which I'm totally okay with, but overall, it gives the appearance of a nice, blank, even canvas. My particular shade right now is Neutral Medium, so knowing your shade is a really big deal as well. You need to know if you are warm-toned, cool-toned, neutral, and a quick way not, not maybe not the best way, but a quick way you can figure that out is cool tones are like your silvers and your winter colors. Warm tones are your gold and your summer colors. So if you look better in silver jewelry, you're probably cool toned. Or if you look better in gold jewelry, you probably have warm undertones. If you're like, Mindy, I can wear either, or I've never paid attention and I think both look great, then you're probably neutral. Neutral is a good way to go if you're not completely sure, but try out and make sure you've got your right undertone because that will make a big difference in your foundation. Another thing you can do before is primer. It's not something that I do on an everyday because what I like to use is this. This is a black moisturizer and aftershave. It's a men's aftershave, but I love it because it gives a great barrier between my skin and any foundation, but it also moisturizes. Having moisturized skin is super, super important. You always wanna make sure you're using some type of moisturizer, especially under your eyes and if you're dry. Even if you're oily, you've gotta be moisturized because it's really important as your skin ages to keep it hydrated and moisturized. So I just put a tiny bit on my fingers and I just rub that. I rub and kind of just pat it in all over my whole skin. It doesn't need a ton because again, it's just doing, it's just a little moisturizer barrier, but it's enough to give my skin just a little bit of moisture and just a little bit of protection from what I'm gonna layer on top of it which is our CC cream. So let me show you how I do that. For any look, this is what I'm gonna be doing 
unless I'm using one of the things I mentioned above. And if I do, I will say I used these particular ones. So this is super easy. It's got a pump and I just pump one pump on the back of my hand and then I take a finger and I dab this all over my face. I pay particular attention to the middle. I put the majority of the product right here in the middle of my face so I can disperse it out. But I do try to get it all over and then do not forget your neck. You wanna bring this all the way down. And then I take a damp beauty sponge. I get the excess off the back of my hand and I just pat. I have found that a damp beauty sponge works the best on my skin with this particular CC cream. Different foundations will work better. Some work better with a brush, some work better with your fingers, some work better with a sponge. You kind of have to just play around and see which works best on your skin. But for me, using the CC cream, a damp sponge works best. And I love the sponges because they kind of press the foundation or whatever it is. They press it like if this is your pore, it's kind of a circle. It kind of presses it on top and like covers it instead of a brush where it will just brush it across. But like I said, different ones perform better different ways. Find what works best and don't forget to go down your neck <laughs> because you want to keep the texture. This is kind of creating a texture with that CC cream. You want to keep that same texture all the way down. So I put it everywhere except for I don't put any on my eyelids and I don't put a ton under my eyes because we are going to use concealer for those and I don't want a ton of product because too much product with my age can build up really quickly and settle into the fine line increases and actually make me appear older. So I don't put a whole lot there. If some happens to get up, it's not a big deal, but I try not to apply a ton of product under my eyes as far as foundation goes. You always wanna get these wet. Whatever kind this is, this is a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I love it. It's a great dupe for the actual Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender does work better, <laughs> but does it work better enough to pay three times the price? I'm not quite so sure. Get these wet. You put them under running water and just squish them like this and they will double in size. You always want to use these wet and damp because that will make a really big difference too. Okay, now you can see. Can you see what a difference that did? Just, it kind of evened everything out. It evened out any discoloration or redness and kind of hid any scarring and a little bit of breakouts, but you can still see it. I still have my hormonal breakouts right now, but they're not quite as apparent. They kind of just fade into the background a little. But this is a little flat. This, I have now created one solid color over my whole skin, which is great for a blank canvas, but I don't want it to look like a blank canvas. I actually want it to look like really, really good skin. Like it's the best version of my skin. So I'm gonna create that illusion. I can't do that with a flat. I've gotta give it some dimension. So this is where we're gonna bring in highlighting and contouring. 